fabulous people. Welcome to the live for all the vibes who create their own live trends. My name is Anastasia and welcome to live guys. I apologize. I have my computer literally placed on top of the pillows because I'm in a hotel room. So that's why it's shaking. So I need to stop moving. I need to just freeze. Anyway, guys, I wanted today to hopefully be able to catch some of you to share with you any information that you want to share with you guys as far as traveling Greece this summer or this year or traveling Europe in general because I just flew from Greece to Italy so not only I am now an expert on traveling in Greece and traveling to Greece I'm also becoming an expert on traveling between different European countries so I really want to make, of course, your life, guys, as easy as possible. I know how it is, especially if you are not in Europe, if you are in the U.S. and you're planning this big trip abroad during this very interesting times. Of course, I completely understand that you're trying to find the right information. You're trying to find the right resources. You're trying to understand, to plan. And I know it can be very challenging right now. So I'm here for you guys. Please use me as your resource. I really am here. And my goal is to really help you guys and to make your travel as easy, as pleasant, as stress-free as possible. Now, Before I start talking to you guys and answering your questions and giving you some useful, hopefully beneficial information, I wanted to tell you guys, as always, that even if you find this live after I am done, after I end this live, you can still leave me a comment below and I will answer to everyone, guys. I will not abandon you. Don't worry. So if you're watching this and it's already recorded, don't worry. Just leave me a comment below and I promise to respond to you. You guys know I respond to everyone, so no problem. If you're here with me right now, amazing. If you miss it, don't worry, all right? All right, let's get started. The soul just dancers asking... (laughs) i'm traveling oh hi thank you i'm traveling to greece tomorrow so excited thank you for your amazing videos and energy so useful thank you it just ah i am so grateful for this messages because you guys know i put all my heart out there i really take hours and days to get this content for you so to get a feedback like this it just means the world to me so thank you thank you for watching and i am so excited for your traveling to greece are you packed (laughs) are you all packed are you ready do you have your qr code i hope uh i i hope that you will have the most wonderful beautiful trip greece is incredible guys it's such an incredible country i fell in love with it and i know you will too there's just so much to see there i feel like i need just this lifetime to see the entire greece because there is just so much and every island in greece every greek island is so unique so beautiful it's just it's unbelievable so enjoy 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 it for me enjoy it relax don't worry about anything i promise it's all going to to work out because a lot of you of course reaching out and uh a little bit feeling stressed out because of what's going on in greece what's the situation like and i'm here to tell you guys that it's actually not as stressful or scary as sometimes you know, media shows it or media exaggerates. I've been there for five months. I've been in Greece for five months. And even when the pandemic was happening, right, during the lockdown, and it wasn't anything close to what um, they were showing on TV about Greece in other countries. So don't worry, guys. Greece is great. Greece is open. Greece is operating as usual again. This is, as of right now, we are in August. If you're watching this live in September, October, of course, things might change. But as of right now, things are just as normal as they can be. Hi, I arrived. Angelo is saying, hi, I arrived to Greece August 16th from Canada. 
If I am a double vaccinated, do I need a test to fly from Athens to Santorini on my arrival? Great question, Angelo. So the answer is no. If you are fully vaccinated, right? Double vaccinated, fully vaccinated. If you are vaccinated, guys, you do not need a test to travel from Athens to any of the Greek islands. Don't worry about it, nothing. All you need is just your vaccinated certificate. <laughs> your vaccination certificate that's all you need guys so you're good to go angelo don't worry you don't need it you you're good to go and that has to do with any island guys from athens to santorini from athens to mykonos from athens to paris to antiparos to Rhodes. it doesn't matter if you are vaccinated you don't need anything to travel greece you are good anything you don't need a test to travel from athens to greek islands you do not need a test to travel between the greek islands and you do not need a test to travel from greek islands to athens okay so you're good to go just go have a great time um all right the greek admirer says mykonos and paris in three weeks to celebrate wife's 70th birthday wow what a beautiful special occasion oh you're going to have the most wonderful time and i'm so glad guys by the way those of you who watched my greece travel updates you guys know that mykonos for about a week was under under lockdown i can't even call it really a lockdown because they didn't lock the island what they've done is they weren't allowing to um for bars and restaurants and lounges etc to play the music so it was just dead silent and then they put also a curfew in mykonos because you guys know mykonos mostly is a party island there are just a lot of celebrations and partying going on during the day and at night so they wanted to make sure that people um, at night are not gathering in large gatherings in villas or on yachts so they just wanted to kind of shut it down for about a week from what i understand it worked the cases went down so mykonos is back to operating as usual when you travel to sorry it says my connection is unstable i hope you guys can still see me I'm in Europe, guys. I miss an internet in the States. I miss it. I miss it so badly. And it's not throughout the entire Europe, but there are some places when it's, you know, worse and then other places when it's better. And um, sometimes people actually uh, say, oh, Anastasia, why would you care so much about having Wi-Fi or internet? Guys, if my entire life wasn't on internet, then I would I could care less about it. But when my entire life, everything I do is on the internet and connected with the internet, then of course, for me, internet is everything. Um, anyway, thank you, thank you so much, so much. I'm so happy that you find in my information helpful. I really, guys, I all I do is just can help you what kind of information I can give you guys and tips and Greece travel tips and tricks and everything. So I'm so happy that you guys are finding the videos useful. And if you have any video ideas for me in the future, if you um, want to see something and I haven't shown it yet, please let me know, guys. I truly, truly, truly would be happy to make a video on something because, you know, I do have a lot of ideas but maybe you're thinking of something that I'm not thinking yet. So I'm happy to make a video on that. And I know you guys are doing that. Um, one of you recently uh, gave me a really great video idea on solo traveling through Greece or Europe. So I definitely will be doing a video on that. So thank you. And sorry, again, those of you who just joined me, I apologize that my, my uh, camera seems like it's shaking because my computer is on the pillows, guys. So that's why if I move, it just it does this a little bit let's see pat stabila says um they did ask for vaccination card or test on ferry from santorini to mykonos pat really they did when did you travel i'm curious because this has to be something 
like super recent. I'm so curious and yeah, please let me know. From fairy, from fairy. Wow, that is interesting because the one of the ways where I get all the information that I'm sharing with you guys is from the COVID um, ni uh, nineteen hotline. So there is a COVID nineteen hotline in um, Greece that you can call twenty four seven, and I shared that number with you. It's eleven thirty five, and there they actually. Um, answer any questions that you might have and they're very very helpful and they always I call them several times throughout my trip and every time you guys ask me a question and they always assured me that nothing absolutely nothing is asked of you when you travel between the islands the same happened when I traveled between the islands um, and I traveled for five months guys and again no one ever asked me for any 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 vaccination card or a test, nothing. And also, I flew recently between the islands, and I went to an airport just to ask them if I need something, and they told me no. So, Pat, this has to be something so recent. But thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, Olivia. Hi, Anastasia. I'm island hopping from Crete back to Santorini in Mykonos, thinking in going to Balos via boat. Is it worth it? Do we still need tests if coming from the U.S. fully vaccinated? No, Olivia, you do not need a test. If you're fully vaccinated, you don't need a test um, to come from the U.S. All you will need is your vaccination card and PLF form. So make sure that you fill out the PLF form for Greece because every country in Europe has their own PLF form. So um, you actually can find the link to that PLF form in the description of this live. So if you're um, trying to figure out where to find it, it's in the description. There is a link I left for you guys there. So you just fill out that PLF form and within a few seconds, you're supposed to get a confirmation email from them. And then either right away or after some time, you're supposed to receive a QR code. So once you receive the QR code in the email, that's what you need to show at the airport prior to your departure to Greece and then when you arrive to Greece. Okay, so that's all you need. You're just vaccination card, obviously your passport and your ticket and the QR code from the PLF. Now, one thing that I want to share with you guys because I talked about it several times because a lot of you are asking me that. So it is very important, guys, to know about the PLF. Some of you or a lot of you are not receiving your QR codes right away. And it gets to the point where some of you, unfortunately, it happened actually to my mom. So I'm not I'm not laughing, guys. I'm really I'm feeling bad that this is this is the stress that actually a lot of uh, people are going through when they're traveling from the U.S. to Europe. What happens a lot of times is that you don't receive your QR code and all you get is the confirmation email that you submitted your form. And you arrive to the airport and, of course, it's very stressful because you think, am I going to fly or not? That happened to my mom as well when she traveled from New York, from JFK to visit me in Paros. And I just wanted to let you know, guys, that if you don't receive your QR code in the email prior to your departure to Greece, it is okay. They will still let you on the airplane just make sure that you do have a confirmation email that you did submit your plf form that is the most important and then what happens afterwards guys is that you know it's an overnight flight so as soon as you cross that 12 a.m from us to greece you will receive your plf form in the email so when you arrive, by the time you arrive, probably most of you will be arriving to Athens. So when you arrive to Athens, all you need to do is just to connect to the airport Wi-Fi 
and that's it and your your qr code will be there and then you will just um present it to during the uh, you know the checking into the country so that is pretty much how it works guys but please don't stress out and one thing i also wanted to mention just in case guys and i love that my mom served as a study case for this one thing that i want to mention is that just in case you arrive to the greek airport and you don't know how to connect to the wi-fi or it's not connecting to the wi-fi or you don't have time to connect to wi-fi and you are just freaking out and saying oh my goodness they're not going to let me into the country because i don't have my qr code guys don't worry it actually again happened to my mom because my mom did not know how to connect her phone to the airport wi-fi hi mom if you're watching <laughs> <laughs> and what happened is when she got to the security and they asked her to present her QR code, she said, I don't have it. So all they needed to do, they asked her to do is to show again that confirmation email that she did submit the PLF form. And when she showed it, they said, okay, ma'am, you're fine. You're good to go. So guys, QR code is very important. It will give you a peace of mind. But just so you know, just the worst case scenario, you did not receive it, you will still be able to enter Greece. So please don't worry. It is really, it's not the end of the world. So just wanted to stress it out again, because I know a lot of you are asking me that. And um, those of you who followed my conversation with Pat, Pat said that he actually traveled between um, Santorini and Mykonos and they asked him for either a vaccination card or a test and he traveled by ferry. Pat, thank you so much for sharing this information. This is very, very valuable. So that just shows me guys that again, rules are changing all the time. This has to be super recent because the last time I talked to the um, to the airport and to the ferry authorities and to um, the hotline in Greece that deals with all the traveling in Greece information. They all assured me that still no, no testing, no vaccination cards, nothing is required. But now it looks like the rules are changing. So Pat, thank you so much. I just want for you guys to be aware. This is very, very important. And if you're traveling Greece right now and you have some new updates or something to share, definitely do guys help each other out, help the community. It's very important. We're all in this together. So if there is some information that you just found out, please share it with everyone. It would be so helpful. And of course, you guys know, I constantly update you on everything. So I will keep doing that. LT says, whoa, I caught a live with the Grecian <laughs> guru. <laughs> Thank you for all of your information. Um, I pray my October Santorini trip stays intact. Oh, I so hope it for you guys. I know a lot of you are anxious about it, of course, because it's those of you who are traveling in August, obviously you have nothing to worry about. In Europe, August is sacred, guys. It is absolutely sacred. They will never shut down any European um, European country in August. You, you do not want to ever mess with the European holidays. But of course, come September, October, I know it's a bit of an unknown situation. So I'm so hoping that you guys will be able to visit Greece in September, October, because it's, in my opinion, one of the best times to visit Greece. The weather is absolutely perfect. It is beautiful. And there is just something about visiting Greece in September and October. Oh, guys, I truly, truly hope you'll be able to travel. And of course, I will keep updating you on the situation from Europe. Rhonda says, hey, Fabulous, do you know there are restrictions because of the fires? I'm confused because tourist pictures on Instagram look absolutely fine, but on TV it looks scary. Rhonda, let me tell you, and this is something that I always talk about, and I feel like uh, in our politically correct world, I have to always preface everything be before I express my opinion, but I just wanted to tell you that I was in Athens when, when 
things on the news started to appear that there are big fires or in Athens and um, it's very dangerous and it's hard to breathe and stuff. And guys, I'm telling you, I was outside 24 seven and things were just going as normal. There was nothing in the air that I saw that I was like, oh wow, I feel in danger. It was absolutely fine. It was like just any other day in Athens. And I saw what the media was showing in the news and the states and everything because you guys know I'm an American citizen. My parents live in New York. So my mom was, of course, contacting me and saying, are you okay? What's happening? And I'm like, mom, <laughs> look outside. There is nothing. There is absolutely nothing. So guys, I'm not saying there are no fires. Of course, there are fires. And of course, some of the of the some people got affected, some houses got burned and everything. But it's not it's not as scary, right, as they are showing the media. It seems like when you watch the news, the entire Athens is just burning to the ground. And it's it's not the case, guys. It's not the case. And again, I'm talking about Athens. The fires are far away. I was fine. Everyone, businesses were operating as normal. There was no panic or there were no signs that something was off. So I just wanted to let you guys know um, that you guys know media sometimes tends to really exaggerate to make a story sensational so honestly you are talking from to a person who was just in Athens and it was absolutely fine the only concern that we had is the temperatures because this year we have record temperatures in in Greece so it was extremely hot guys it was very very hard to even be outside for a long time because it was just so humid and yeah, the, the temperatures were skyrocketing. Um, for example, and again, I know most of you watch it um, in the States and I still always try to remember how to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, but sometimes, you know, I'm not as accurate. Anyway, it was 46 Celsius, guys, 46 Celsius. So if you look what it is in Fahrenheit, you're going to be very, very, very surprised. It was very hot, guys. And I know some of you are saying, oh, Anastasia, I'm used to this weather. I'm from North Carolina or, you know, I'm from Arizona. Or, But you guys have to understand in the States, we're always inside or most of the time or we are in our cars in Greece you will be spending most of your time outside and not just standing. You're going to be walking around up and down the hills. Trust me, you will feel the temperature on a totally different level. So that is the only thing that is happening right now that I felt on myself. Those temperatures were absolutely outrageous this year in August. And again, it is not typical for Greece. It is not typical. Those were record high temperatures this year. Let's see. Um, the health form is on the fairies website. Thank you, Greek admirer. Yes, yes. And let's see, catching up on some of your comments. So the, um, hi, Tom Dukes, how are you? <laughs> I hope you're still watching. Uh, Greek admirer says the QR code is now emailed when you submit your PLF form and not just midnight prior to your travels. We travel in three weeks, but already have the QR code. Yes, Greek admirer, that is correct, but it's different for people. I found it, and this is something that has been going for months because so many people reached out to me. It's different for everyone. Some people are receiving their QR codes right away, and some people literally receiving them the midnight of their arrival to Greece. So it's different. It, I wish it was the same for everyone, but every single case scenario is different. If you read comments under any of the videos where I talk about the QR code, you will see that a lot of people, unfortunately, are not receiving them until the midnight of their arrival to Greece. But hey, listen, if you're receiving your QR code three weeks, prior to your departure, I am so happy about this. More power to you. I wish it was like this for everyone. But my information, I'm just sharing this in case you are one of those unlucky ones who did not receive um, 
your QR code and wondering what the heck do I do next? So I wanted to make sure that you know it's not the end of the world if you don't receive it. Let's see, Anugen says, Anugent, I hope I said it correctly. I read somewhere there is a health form needed to fill out to do the ferry. No, no, absolutely. There is nothing that you need to be filling out. And Pat, if you're still watching <laughs> because you were the most recent one on a ferry, please let me know if you needed to fill out anything. But I heard about that form. But honestly, guys, I traveled on ferries from, let me tell you, from Santorini to Paros, from Paros to Antiparos, from Paros to Mykonos, from Mykonos to Crete. And not one single time I was asked for any form. All I did was showed my ticket to the ferry and that was it. So, and that was throughout all my five months. If there is a form that needs to be filled out, this is something so mega recent that I, I just, I'm not aware of it yet, but never ever we had to fill out any forms. Let's see. Um, do you have a video on the best travel cards? Do you maximize points on your travels? I appreciate any guidance you may have on the best travel credit cards or other tools you use. LT, that's a great question. Um, I need to make a video on it. I haven't done it yet. The credit card that I absolutely love because I travel Europe so much and it's just, for me, it makes sense to have this card. It's the Sapphire Reserve and um, I I love that card. It just, it, it has so many benefits when it comes to traveling. But I will definitely make a video on the cards in the future because I know that there are different credit cards with different rewards, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And most of you guys don't know, in my past life, I was actually, well, my previous life, my past life, I don't want you to start thinking that I'm talking about my past lives. In my previous right stage of my life i was actually an investment advisor for wealth management for 10 years and prior to that i worked in uh, uh in the banking center so my for 10 years i was in the banking world so i am definitely the person to talk about the credit cards and all of that because my previous career was was all has to do with uh, with the banking world so I definitely have a lot to share with you guys on this. So yes, and Pat says, yes, and stage it was yesterday, Saturday. Pat, my question was, if you don't mind me asking you, did you have to fill out any form? Because, let's see, because Anujan said that he read or she read, I'm so sorry, I don't know, because there is a picture, I think, of uh, of two people on it, and I can't, I can't see the faces, too. Uh, I read somewhere there is a health form needed to fill out to do the ferry. Did you have to fill out any health form, Pat? Can you share with the community, please? Rhonda says, thank you very much for your answer. My pleasure, Rhonda. Olivia Pash, thanks for the information, Anastasia. Let me know about Balos when you get a chance. I will, Olivia. I don't know, I, the reason, I, I apologize, I haven't I haven't mentioned Balos is because I honestly don't know much about it. So that's why I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk on a matter that I, I don't have a lot of information. Um, so that is, that is honestly the only reason. Soul Jazz Dancer says, media is hyped it's good to be sure. It's great we talk with each other and share more reliable information. Yes, I feel like it's always it's always so important to in these times especially to come together as a community and share with each other our knowledge and our experiences because there are real people like me, like some of you who already travel in Greece, who are going through this, through our travels, witnessing stuff, not in the news, but with our own eyes. And I feel like that makes 
all the difference in the world. So it's good to have a community. It's good to have people whom you can ask a question, reach out, and they will tell you not what they heard, but what they actually saw and experienced themselves. Penelope says, I'm thinking about moving to Greece, but the severe heat in the summer is of concern since I now live in Arizona and the summers are unbearable. Is Greece a good place to retire? Penelope, I honestly think that this year, if we're talking about this year, it's very, it is very unusual. It, the heat wave that Greece faced this year is something that they haven't faced in a long time. In a long, long time, I think it's 30 years. So if you want to know my opinion about retiring in Greece, I think it's a wonderful country to retire. Everything that I saw and experienced in the past five months in Greece, it's been absolutely mind blowing. For example, when I arrived to Antiparos, I didn't have any expectations. It's not a popular island that a lot of people are traveling to, right? But when I arrived there and I saw this beautiful landscape and the beautiful water and the, the villas that were just on top of the hills overlooking the mountains and overlooking the water. And then you go to the Antiparos city center and walk around those wide streets and all the flowers and all the greenery and everything. And there is some sense of peacefulness there. And I really, I even asked myself, I said, what else what would you need more from life? What else? What else would you want? It's like the most beautiful place where you really can build yourself because the prices in Greece comparing to a lot of other countries and places are still very reasonable. You can build yourself a beautiful home or buy it if you don't feel like building. You can really go every day for walks by the beach you have locals who are so kind and so friendly. They all know each other. There is nothing to worry about. Pretty much, like, let's say in Crete and Antiparis and Paris, people were telling me, Anastasia, if you don't want to look at the house, don't even worry. Because they all know each other. There is no sense that someone is going to come over and break into your house and do something. Again, it's not on every island and it's not everywhere. But there are some islands, as an example, like Antiparis, where the sense of just that tranquility and you can go to the beach and you can enjoy your time and there is fresh food, always fresh. Everything was so fresh. Guys, honestly, when I was living in the States, sometimes even when I go to Whole Foods and I would buy a tomato and bite into it and I was like, Ugh. and then everything has such flavor in Greece. There is just this, the, the tomatoes and cheeses and fish and everything is just like, it's a joy to live in Greece for all your senses, really. You see the most beautiful things. You smell the beautiful food and things, and you taste. And it's, guys, it's honestly paradise. I can see even myself spending every year some part of my of my year in Greece or retiring there. I Yes, absolutely. I, I think it's a wonderful place to, um, to retire. LT says 46 Celsius, guys, it's 115 Fahrenheit, just so you know. So, yeah, yikes, right? Let's see, Olivia Bar says, so agree with you. I'm grateful Anastasia is here. You, all of you guys who share experience. Olivia, thank you. Carlo Larena says, my diary. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to read that one. <laughs> Let's skip that one. That's an Italian, and you guys know I speak Italian. So, Carlo, sto arrivando. <laughs> Praticamente sto qui, infatti. Mm, LT says, wonderful. Thanks for the uh, card video. Last question. My wife, um, my accent, as soon as I switch the languages, um, my wife deeply. Uh, desires the red dress photos in Santorini. You have a good company you would recommend. LT, there is, um, I know most of the, uh, most of the people who hired 
those photographers and i know what you're talking about it's it's an experience to have for a female in in uh, santorini it's stunning most of the people who hired photographers they actually hired them through airbnb experiences i know that for sure and what i love about airbnb experiences is that you can also see the reviews you can read about them and you can see which one is the best and they show you the pictures what they've done of their work and also people who've done those experiences they share their pictures so i would recommend starting with airbnb experiences i feel like that's a great place to start and i actually look into that and there were so many different options for you to choose from i think you will actually be overwhelmed with option versus trying to find a photographer so if you haven't done so i would start with airbnb experiences in santorini and see and see with whom your wife would be mostly one to to do the photo shoot with but i know that they do everything they help you to choose the dress they have lots of dress options and then you decide and uh, you can go and do it but if you want someone specific i know someone who recently done the photo shoot i just don't remember the name of the company so if you want someone specific i can um, ask and let you know later on just please remind me because there are so many questions that i get every day olivia says it's okay thanks so much much appreciate you i love it guys i love you you guys are so amazing so kind i'm so so fortunate to to have such a community uh so anagen says i will look again to find where i found the info about a health form for fairy and post it i remember i read it all online um yes and i know you are absolutely right i actually saw people mentioning this form but i i guess i just took my chances i never filled it out and no one ever asked me for one and i actually went to a lot of fairy representatives because you guys were always asking me questions. Anastasia, um, do I need something? What else do I need? Do I need a test? Do I need anything? And I always went to the fairy representatives and not one of them ever told me that there is a form that I need to fill out. And I was never asked for one. So sometimes guys, it also happens. And if you watch my previous videos is that one thing is written but another thing is happening but as i say from my experience never ever i had to fill out any any form um let's see lt says oh oh uh, i'm coming with my wife and two children to athens and santorini how much on hand euro should i keep on me while there 200 more lt that's a good question so honestly in in five months, I hardly ever used any of my any of my cash because Greece, I love this about Greece, is that they are very advanced compared to a lot of other European countries that I've been to. And they allow you to pay for everything with a credit card. And I just like to crank those credit card points. So of course I try to pay with everything for uh, with the credit card. So um and you said for how long you're coming mm, you didn't mention for how long but i think 200 should be plenty if you already have everything booked anyway in all the restaurants you will be able to pay with a credit card that's not a problem so maybe just for tipping and even for tipping guys in most places before they run your card they actually ask you do you want to leave a tip on the card? And so most of them already even have the machines where you can leave a tip on the card. And I know some of you are saying, what's the big deal, guys? Trust me, in most places in Europe, it's still, the machine cards are not still adjusted so you can leave a tip on the card. So you have to pay with the card and then cash as a tip. But in Greece, in a lot of places, they actually have machines where you can leave a tip on the card. So I would say 200, if you're coming, yeah, for is perfect just for the tips guys and that's it and just so you know when you live a tip in in greece it's not like in the states where they expect for you to do 10 percent or 15 percent or 20 percent 
So feel free, guys, in Europe, by the way, some people, well, a lot of people don't leave a tip. Or if they do, even for a big meal, it's like two euros, five euros at most. So what I'm saying is that don't feel that you always need to leave 10% or 15 or 20. Obviously, it's appreciated. And obviously, with everything that Europe is going through and, well, the entire world is going through, of course, tipping someone is or 10, 15, 20% is very much appreciated, but I just never want you to feel like it's expected of you because it's a different culture. And in Greece, they don't expect for you to tip 10, 15, 20%, just so just for you to be aware. And that goes for everything. Even if you go to a nail salon and you would need to do na uh, nails and your nail salon in Greece, just tipping is appreciated, but it not, it's not expected, just like in the States. Like, unlike in the States. Uh, Nicola says, I'm a Greek American planning to move to Greece. I love your videos. Thank you. I'm so happy. Yes, Nicolas. Honestly, you know, moving to Greece is it's a it's a it's a wonderful country. It's a wonderful country. Um, of course. After I moved from the States to Italy, I had to adjust. It's a cultural, of course, it's cultural differences. And there were some things that obviously that were different the way I used to that for them to be done in the States versus Italy or Greece. But what I always say is that you need to always focus on the positives because there are always way more positives than negatives. And with time, those kind of cultural differences, they will smooth out. Plus you are, as you mentioned, you are Greek American, so you already know what to expect. But this is just for anyone who is planning on moving abroad. And yes, guys, it's a, and I will make a video at some point about it, but it is scary. Uh, there definitely will be a lot of cultural differences and uh, cultural shocks and things that you will have to get used to like a wi-fi but um it's still it's an experience of a lifetime even if you move forever or if you move just for a few years or even for six months it's definitely an experience to be had because it opens up your it opens your eyes to um, just a completely different world and you just become a very different person. You never look at things in the same way. You tend to see things differently. You appreciate different things. You have a just a very deeper understanding of different cultures and things and languages and, and history, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I always say to, uh, especially to students who are thinking to do study abroad or not to do study abroad. I've done a study abroad when I was 18 from the States to Italy for six months. And then I stayed for another six months. And it's definitely for sure to this day, one of the best experiences I ever had in my life. And it helped me so much. I strongly encourage everyone to do it. Even if it's, uh, if it's scary, it's something that you will never forget for the rest of your life. All right. Let's see. Mm, Gabriela Oliveira says, just to be triple sure. If you are traveling from, ooh, sorry, one second, so many comments, so it keeps skipping. If you are traveling from the States and are fully vaccinated, you do not need a negative COVID test. Correct, Gabriela. No test is needed. All you will need is your vaccination card, your passport, and then your QR code after you fill out a PLF form. That is it. Oh, and the plane ticket. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Olivia says, hi, Gabriela. Yes, that is correct. Thank you, Olivia. I am behind on the comments. So then uh, uh, Nogen says, we arrived the 18th and hope that all visitors are being appreciative and respectful during their visit. I'm trying to think of something to bring from the US to give as a gift on special moments idea Ooh. honestly people in greece and italy love love anything american so much really they a lot of times when i talk to them be it here in italy be it in greece people always say Oh, Anastasia, I just dream one day to move to New York. For some reason, it's always New York. And they always say, oh, I just see it in Hollywood movies. And I just, 
I just think one day if I could just have a chance, it's it's very interesting. But um, oh goodness, what would they? They just love everything from the states so much. I remember, by the way, um, that may be something. When I was I was going to the same grocery store here in Italy, and I made friends with a cashier, and I told her one day that I was going to New York to visit my family, and she said, can you please bring me a magnet so I can put it on my refrigerator, please? She was going to even give me $2 for it. I said, I'll be happy to do that. So magnets, I know maybe it's just something that I'm, I'm thinking maybe very quick, maybe I will think of something different, but... Honestly, this just shows they will appreciate anything from the States. Um, a magnet. Um, um, Starbucks, they have Starbucks. They love Starbucks now. Um, in Greece, I saw so many people going for crazy for everything Starbucks. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm having kind of a blank right now. I will think about it, but... The point is they will really appreciate they will really appreciate everything everything it's just such a such a thought just to bring to sell something to a person i actually i'm in italy right now and i brought with myself a few uh, small bottles of ozo um it's a greek liqueur that you usually drink after a meal and i brought it to some of the people who i know here in italy and they're all going crazy for it so it's it's all of, it's more about a thought and let's see, uh, just bring your vaccination card with you. Yes, Olivia. Mm -hmm. uh, Mila is saying, I'm going in September. I'm fully vaccinated, returning back. I need to do a PCR test 72 hours before my flight to go back to Canada. Is it easy to find test labs in Athens on Saturdays? Mila, great question. I actually just did a video on it. Please go and watch that video. I'm showing you exactly. I'm giving you the address of the clinic in Athens that is open on Saturday and Sunday and pretty much 24-7. I left you guys all that information in that video. It's one. It's the one from this week. Please let me know if you cannot find it. It's called, I believe it's Greek Travel Update from August. I think it's that but it's the most recent travel update and there you will find all that information on that clinic in athens it literally has everything guys it has the address it has the cost i believe it's 60 euros for pcr test it has um the email address how you can contact them to schedule the appointment but just so you know even if you don't schedule the appointment or if you can't you can just show up and they will still take you in just make sure that you come there very early in the morning or after i think 7 p.m but i left all that information for you guys in the description under that video below so please make sure to check it out it has everything you possibly need uh let's see carla says ciao bella ciao come stai lt uh responding to olivia Good. All right. Uh, let's see. Traveling to Santorini and Athens from the U.S. Awesome, Stephen. Awesome. Um, then how is the cell phone signal and Wi-Fi in Santorini? Um, actually, what I've done, I kept my phone card from Italy because it works really well in Greece as well. But what I actually really liked about Santorini is that in the city center and in some of the beaches, the you actually have free Wi-Fi. So you can connect to the Santorini Wi-Fi for free, and it was great. Now, the place where I was staying, it was, a, you guys probably saw the tour. It was in, deep inside the cave. I had a very beautiful cave house in Santorini. And if I went really deep inside the cave, the Wi-Fi was okay. But um, it's because I'm in the cave. <laughs> but um, everywhere in Santorini, my cell phone worked perfectly because I was using, again, I was using either data from my cell phone or I was connected to the Santorini Wi-Fi. And Santorini is actually one of the few islands that offers free Wi-Fi, which I so appreciated and so loved. So 
you guys are going to be just fine. Um, Greek admirer says, you do need to complete health form for fairy, even though like Anastasia, whoo, I, I lost it so many comments. Um, you don't need, you do need, sorry guys, you do need to complete health form for fairy, even though like Anastasia says, not ask for one, for on many occasions, it's simple one page document. And then uh, 2020, we saw couple made to fill out form on ferry before boarding. A random ask, but it happened. Mm. Better safe than sorry. Exactly, guys. Anyone in Santorini who would like to do activities together, okay? <laughs> Skipping that one um, because you guys are talking between each other. But I would love, I would have loved to be part of that. Uh, we'll be coming for two weeks on the 15th. Are ATMs easy to find? Don't want to travel from the States with too much cash. ATMs are super easy to find. Yes, they are not on every corner like in the US, but super easy to find. And guys, you will not, mostly you will not need, really, you will not need cash in Greece. Very, very rare. I don't even, again, maybe just sometimes for tipping. Other than that, you will use your cards the entire time. Um, then Catherine says, thanks so much for the information. I'm going in a couple of weeks. Can't wait. Um, it's to me like going home. I have been to so many Greek islands and just love Greece. Thanks again for the update. I know, Catherine. Exactly. I'm so, so excited um, for your upcoming trip. And I know Greece feels like home. It just, there is something about this country that just gives you such a homey <laughs> vibes i just i love i love going to greece it really feels like you you just go back home um now zakia says i'm fully vaccinated should i still do a pcr test no zakia no you do not need no i'm sorry not zakia zakia sorry zakia uh, you do not need a pcr test if you're fully vaccinated so you're good to go don't worry about it um Let's see. So Mila says, thank you. I will look for it. Your videos are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, then Greek Admirer says, the ferry boarding is busy enough without stopping to fill out the form. Enjoy your holidays. Yes, guys. I think that if you've never traveled by ferry, you don't realize what it's like and I would recommend to look at some of my videos if you are curious what the experience like it's like hundreds of people they open this huge gate to the ferry and it's hundreds of people who are rushing in at the same time and they barely have time to check the tickets I can't imagine them asking for or checking any forms it would it would be insanity especially right now in August with so many tourists let's see uh ah, busy enough <laughs> i figured that's what you meant i keep seeing test requirements required for ferries between roads and cars however you said no test required between these two can you update robbie so i'm going based on what i was told by the um by the authorities when i called when i double check because i always check i always ask um for you guys and for me when i travel and they confirmed that it, it's not needed. But, Robbie, to be on the safe side, just to make sure, please call the 1135 number. It's literally, that's the number, 1135, just to make sure, because they are the ones that answering all the related questions, travel-related questions. So if you have a very specific question like that, please call them and ask them. They do speak English. They're super nice just to be on the safe side because I think it's so important right now to double and triple check because rules are changing all the time, guys. By the time I have a video update for you, the new updates are coming. That's why I come up with so many video update videos because it's, it's constant, guys, because the thing is the cases are on the rise. There is no need to, you know, to hide that. It's, that's what's happening. So the Greek government is constantly trying to adjust as they go. So there is something different every week. So I would just, to be on the safe side, Robbie, I would call 1135, literally that's four numbers, and ask them this specific question. Mm. 
funny, uh, funny, it's New York, LA and Texas is big. Yes, every time I travel international, I bring something from the States. Let me know if you think of anything. Thank you. That's so awesome. That is so awesome you do that. Um, thanks for all the info. I'm also an investment advisor. Oh, I love it. I love that. Um, and let's see. Investment Advisors Unite. <laughs> um, and I'm hearing of rising cases in roads. Do you think by early September they're going to put restrictions from the UK coming to roads? Maybe requiring to quarantine for five days in roads like in Italy. Ooh, guys, I honestly, I would, I do not want to speculate on this only because Things, as I just said, change all the time. By the time we are rolling into even next week, things might already change. As you guys know, the cases are on the rise. And as I said in my last travel update, they actually monitoring right now closely Paris, Santorini, and I know Rhodes is adding up to that list. So that's why in the island on the islands where cases are on the rise, it is so hard to tell even what's going to happen next week, let alone in September. But I promise to you guys, I promise to keep you all posted as much as possible. So I promise if I hear something, if there is any update, I try to share it with you guys right away. But as you guys can tell, things are changing all the time. Just recently, just a few days ago, it was absolutely fine to travel between the islands, no tests, nothing. And now you guys are sharing your experience that now test is required for traveling between the islands. So it's a constant change, guys. It's, it's evolving. So that is one, the biggest reason why I shared with you those phone numbers for traveling to Greece and then traveling in Greece. So if you have any specific question, if you want to double check or triple check everything, those are the phone numbers, guys. Those are gold because those are the phone numbers that you can call anytime. And those are professional people who are staying literally up to date every single day on those updates. And they will be able to answer your specific questions. Okay. So they know what's going on. Let's see. Please tell something about... Um, Thessaloniki, the people, culture, and also the current situation. I will. I promise to make a video, guys. I promise. There's so many islands, and it's only me. <laughs> um, so I know, guys, you're going to different specific islands, and you're asking me for updates. And as I said, I wish I could be in all the islands in, in the same place. I really would recommend for you guys to use those phone numbers. I love them for you in the description below. Um, it's also under every single video in the update. Um, so please just watch those videos and um, get those phone numbers and call them and to find out any specific information. So I've been talking, I just look at the clock. I've been talking for an hour. It's like, oh. <laughs> Um, absolutely. I'm trying to help as much as I can. I wish guys, I wish all I could do is just, you know, keep pumping updates every single week for you guys, every single day and just on every different Island on every different situation. But again, guys, it's just, uh, I am really trying to share as much as I can, but those phone numbers that I shared with you guys are gold. So any question that you have, if you can reach out to me right away, or if you just need some answer on the spot, all those phone numbers, they are gold. Okay. All right, guys, it's been an hour of me talking. <laughs> I need some water and um, I have an appointment in a few moments. So I need to, I need to get going guys, but I really, I, you know, I came on this live and I'm like, okay, it's going to be 20 minutes update and off I go. And one hour later, I'm still here. But honestly, guys, it's just, it's so amazing to talk to you. I love talking to you. I wish I could just stay here for eight hours, but unfortunately my, my vocal cords and <laughs> my schedule is not allowing me to do that. So I uh, will promise I will keep updating you guys on every single thing 
on every single update, situation, restriction, regulation, anything I know, just count on me. I'm I'm here to update you guys, okay? And everyone who is traveling to Greece in the near future, happy travels, fabulous. I'm so excited for you. Have the most amazing, amazing time. And um, I will keep updating you guys with everything. And of course, if you're new to my channel, most of the people, you guys are already part of the community. But if you are new, if you just joined, if this is your first video of me, please consider subscribing because, of course, guys, it just truly gives me an opportunity to create more and more and more useful, informative, informational, fun content. All right, guys, I gotta go. Have the most beautiful Sunday. And until the next time, bye, guys.